We're being asked to find the derivative of 1 over x using the limit definition. Let's go ahead and do it. So the first step is to compute the difference quotient. So that's f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So this is equal to, well, f of x plus h, you just replace x with x plus h. So this is 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x, because that's f of x. And all of this is being divided by x. The next step is where it gets a little tricky. We actually have to perform the subtraction in the numerator. So the least common denominator is x, x plus h. So I'm going to go ahead and write it down, x, x plus h. So we know that's going to be the denominator. Then the way I do this, it's going to be 1 times whatever is missing here to get the LCD. So we're missing an x, so 1 times x. Minus 1 times whatever is missing here to get the LCD. So we're missing an x plus h, so x plus h. And all of this is in parentheses. It's really important. It's all being divided by little h. Let's keep going. This will be x minus, distribute the negative 1, so minus x minus h, all divided by x, x plus h, and this is in parentheses, and it's all being divided by h. Let's keep going. So this is equal to, looks like the x, the x's cancel, yep. And so we have negative h over x, x plus h, and all of this is being divided by little h. Almost there. So we have this, which is negative h times over x, x plus h, and it's being divided by h. When you divide by h, you multiply by the reciprocal. So it's really h over 1. So you multiply by 1 over h. The h's cancel, and we're left with negative 1 over x, x plus h. So to finish, we'll take the limit. So the derivative of f with respect to x is the limit as h approaches 0 of the difference quotient. That's what we computed. So f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. But we simplified this, so this is the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 1 over x, x plus h. And now we can go ahead and plug in 0, so we get negative 1 over x x plus 0, and so we end up with negative 1 over x squared. And that's the final answer. Now the reason we couldn't take the limit at the beginning is because we had an h on the bottom. So we couldn't just plug in 0 for h because that would be undefined. I hope this helps.